We're gonna light up Bar Louie. Mastery Sharks right here in the, in the weight room, baby. What's it gonna take? It takes you committing to be the best version of yourself. All right, all right, baby. Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? No, I'm about to do a keynote. We're gonna light up Bar Louie. You talk about energy, you talk about motivation. What happens in Vegas is not gonna stay in Vegas, baby. We're gonna explode the world. Bar Louie, be ready to go, baby. This is the Bar Louie Annual Leadership Conference, 250 GM from Bar Louie. And uh, my job is to light a fire underneath them. It's gonna happen, let's go. All right, we're four hours before keynote time and uh, first thing I gotta do here, I gotta go check out the gym. It's important we get that pre-keynote that that pre -keynote workout in. So you gotta come out and scope everything out. And uh, hey, this isn't a bad gym. I always travel with my own gym to supplement what they don't have. Now this looks pretty darn comprehensive. But uh, when I start hitting this, I'll be in here about an hour, and it's gonna be go time. This is where I'm gonna amp everything up and uh, rock and roll, so I scope everything out. Got some matrix equipment. Oh, we got a little arm farm. Gotta finish a little arm farm right here. So, uh, hey, it's gonna get real. Let's get ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go uh, get my equipment to go. It's gonna be a good start to this day, baby. Sharks right here. Mastery Sharks right here in the in the weight room, baby. You get your mind right, you get your body right. That's gonna motivate you, inspire you. Get up, get your booty up, and let's get to work. You say you want it. You say you want success. You gotta work for it. Pushing yourself. You're this close away. You're this close away. Challenge the edge. Hey, whatever it takes, you gotta find a way. Go there. Go outside your comfort zone. Wherever it's scary, try new moves. Take risk. Whatever that takes, that's a mindset. So we're T minus three hours before tonight's keynote here with Bar Louie. And uh, one of the intentions going into this year was to do more keynotes. So when I think of the journey of when I first started speaking and hiring my speaking coach to even now, you know, 15 years later, I, it's kind of funny actually because I think back, one of my first speaking gigs I ever did was downright embarrassing. I, I remember going out in front of these couple hundred people and not only did I do a motivational talk, which was actually a decent talk, I actually led a workout class um, to these, this group of meeting planners and I was queuing um, a Pilates class, even though I didn't teach Pilates, I was doing a workout and a Pilates and a mind-body class. And um, I said the most idiotic thing that one could ever say. Uh, I had a towel up in the air and I was like, imagine that this towel is a spear and the spear is going right through your, your gut. And everyone looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, what did I just say? Um, and I, I was like shaking my head like, did I just really say a spear going through your, your organs and reproductive system and all of your body? I'm like, no. You know, it's funny. I've come a long way since that day. And um, I remember even my first IDEA World Conference in the fitness industry. Um, I remember after that first talk, I did some real basic things not effectively. I remember sitting at the table with my wife Melanie saying, oh my gosh, I have a long way to go. I just did not do well on that. Um, sometimes we're our, worst, our own worst critics. And I think about the journey of um, you know, where I'm at now. I still, still work on my craft all the time. I've, I've done thousands of different speaking engagements. Um, some inside of fitness and, and more and more now outside of, of fitness going into companies and organizations and conferences and, and firing them up and I really enjoy that uh, because it doesn't matter if one is a fire breathing dragon uh, fitness coach or trainer or just a fitness enthusiast weekend warrior mom or dad who's trying to be the best version of themselves um, what motivates me is inspiring people uh, to be their absolute best I call that impact and um, now every time I go up on stage um, even now, just a, you know, a few hours here before I go up for tonight's keynote, I always get into a state of gratitude and make sure that 
um, from the inside out, I'm balanced so that while they'll see energy and, and fire coming out, um, that workout that I just did is uh, imperative for me to visualize and meditate and get my own body, mind, and spirit um, in tune. And to realize that every time I do a talk, there's literally tens of thousands of hours that have gone into that. And the preparation part is uh, important. So uh, that's, that's what we'll, uh, we'll look at tonight. And I realize it's been a lot of practice. Here's what I would challenge you to do. Wh whatever you do for a living, and whether you're a speaker, you're a coach, or a trainer, um, or whatever industry, you're in customer service, uh, you're a leader, you're, you're a fireman, firewoman, you're a police officer, is that my challenge to you is to continue to work on your craft and whatever that is, is what can you do to get 1% better um, today, this week, um, this month, so that you can continue to pursue excellence or to pursue mastery. When you look at masters, you look at you know the Picassos of the world, um, you look at the world's best athletes, you look at the world's best speakers and, and what are they doing, it's a maniacal focus, almost an obsession about what it's going to take to be great. It's an evaluation of each time of what can I do to create an experience that truly wows people and takes their breath away with how you incorporate music and sound and, and energy because it's always about how you make somebody feel and the impact that you can create. So my challenge to you is whatever career you're, you're in, however old you are, whether you're a young boy or girl, you're, you're a grandma, grandpa, uh, is to challenge yourself to continue to get better, to be a person of growth mindset, to work on your own personal self because after all, you can only go as far as you grow. So it's time for me to hit the showers, I'm gonna clean up, and uh, it's time to get up on stage and, and create some wow. What can you do to take extraordinary self-care of yourself? Where can you amp it up, whatever that takes? Because it's said that he or she who has their health has a thousand dreams, and he or she who does not has one. What's your dream? What do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with Bar Louie? How far do you want to take this? How much success do you want to create in your community? How many people do you want to serve? How much success do you want? Because when you do that, you realize, hey, then I can be a lot happier and more fulfilled as well. One of my mentors asked me, hey Todd, do you think life is more like a marathon or a sprint? I'd ask you the same question, is it a marathon or a sprint? Well, I said, it's a marathon. He who gets to the finish line first, wins. And he said, you're absolutely wrong. Life is a series of sprints, recover, sprint, recover. It's just like when you train your pro athletes. You sprint them and you recover them. They get body work, they get physical therapy, they get acupuncture, and then they sprint and they go hard, they go hard. And he said, if you keep sprinting a marathon distance, you're gonna end up like your father, dead. Whoo! How can you slow down just enough so you can speed up and recover and put your oxygen mask on first because at the end of the day, energy is everything. There's a lot of darkness out there. How do you liken Bar Louie, each of your locations, as a lighthouse? The more light that's on the inside, you, starting with you, the more light on the inside, then it can emanate and get all those lost ships, attract them in, and then with all those smiles, those high fives, fist bumps, everything else, then you light up your community with positivity, radiance, where you could truly eat, drink, and be happy. What's it gonna take? It takes you committing to be the best version of yourself. And then Bar Louie can radiate like a lighthouse. So my plea with you today is this. When you go home, get a gray hoodie. Put the gray hoodie on and get your mind right. Matter of fact, right now, tap on your head and say, get your mind right. Okay? What does this say? Yes, say yes. Yes. Say wow. wow! Get your mind right. Get your mind right. So when you're walking down the hall tonight, be like, hey, get your mind right. Get your mind right. And remember this: when you tap on your head, and you get your hoodie on. You want to create more wow. You want to raise up your arms and say wow. You want to create wow in all that you do, 
and then go out there and make sure you spread it. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, that never gets old. Gotta love getting a standing ovation. Man, that's what we, we, we work to create impact. And when they stand up at the end to acknowledge all the hard work, dedication, the effort, man, it just, it fills my heart up to know that I impacted those people today in some way. Well, what a day it's been. It's been a long day. And uh, one of those days where you just kind of feel fulfilled because you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And a lot of this stems from just doing a lot of soul searching. I think we look at mastery, we talk about mastery. Mastery really is a sense of awareness. Awareness on the inside of what you're supposed to be doing so you can marry your heart and your soul, your spirit and your mind. How do you take your heart and your mind and your soul and marry that? Because I believe when you do that, then I believe you're one step closer to mastery. Well, that's a wrap from 35,000 feet. I call this my 35,000 foot spa, where I can just chill out and relax and get some shut eye. I gotta repeat this tomorrow, baby. I'm up on stage tomorrow for another keynote, so uh, I'll get my seven hours of rest, stay dialed in my best practices, work on mastery, and uh, go create some more impact tomorrow. Peace, I'm out.